Urban. Ed, one, three. three. Oh, it's perfect because we have a lot of it today. We got a lot of it today. Number three, page 167. One, two, three. The word is coffee. Coffee. C O F F E E. <laughs> Where's coffee guy? I don't know. Coffee, Mike. Coffee guy's right here. He's the word. Out. Randomly picked. I've had a lot of coffee this morning. Mm -hmm. Urban obviously has. <laughs> Um, and he has it in his bed. Coffee. This is out of the uh, Wilford Funk's Word Origins and the Romantic Stories. Word stories about your dining table is the chapter. Coffee means decoction of berries. That's D-E-C-O-C-T-I-O-N. Decoction of berries. It is said that back somewhere in the year 850, a goat herd named Caldi, K-A-L-D-I, became puzzled at the strange way his flock was acting. He noticed that they were nibbling on certain berries, so he decided to try the berries himself. He did, and was so excited at the feeling of exhilaration that he got that he rushed off to tell the other goat herds about the bush. The Arabs soon learned how to dry and boil the berries, and they called the brew Gawe. Oh, Kawe. Kawe. Yes. Q a h w e its use immediately stirred up a great ruction i like that word ruction among the orthodox muhammadans which is a early name of muslims yes mm -hmm. some of the faithful drank their gawe to keep awake during the interminable religious services but for that reason others thought that gawe should be barred as an intoxicant Turkey took up the brew Gawe, Q-A-H-W-E, and this gave France her café, hence our word coffee. Wow, that's cool. Well, on the morning, cool. uh, but uh, let me... Uh,